health alert tonight about a hot new trend. We know online grocery shopping can be convenient, but can it actually lead to weight loss? Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Dandy, joins us now with how it could help you shed some pounds potentially. That's exactly right. So this new study from the University of Albany found that shopping online can help you curb impulsive buying. So they took uh, 60 college students and they assessed them for levels of impulsiveness and then given an allotted amount of cash to spend on affordable and nutritious products. So no matter how impulsive the student was, researchers found no nutritional differences between all of the participants online grocery cards. So good news. Yeah, so all right, so how does that buying online affect our waistline? Absolutely. So of past research that found that people who are more impulsive may be less healthy and overweight. They may be more likely to fall for unhealthy food products in grocery stores. Whereas shopping online, you have to search and enter what items you're looking for. This could make it easier to resist all that junk food and stick to a healthier diet. You certainly won't be standing in a checkout line like me staring at a bunch of candy bars. <laughs> and my kids were watching. Remember that. We're going to go online shopping right now. That impulsiveness, it gets a lot of us. And especially when you're hungry and you're shopping. I mean, how do you avoid exactly. that? Exactly. And I'm no exception. When it comes to grocery shopping, I've got prescriptions for myself as well. So plan ahead. Make a list of the foods you need to uh, you need and, and stick to it. Also eat a healthy snack or a meal before grocery shopping. So if you're hungry, everything will look delicious. You know, you look dis delicious and you'll be tempted more than usual. Uh, and stick to the perimeter of the grocery store. That's where you typically find healthy food choice like fruit, produce, dairy, meat, and fish. And lastly, if you buy groceries online, Fees also vary by region and be aware that quality of the meat and produce delivered may not be necessarily what you're accustomed to if you shop yourself. All right, so some of us, it's obvious, yeah. uh, have a difficulty with discipline, right? Oh. So can we improve our impulse control? I think that's all of us. So there's strategies all of us can use, like advanced planning, being mindful, really important, and giving yourself positive feedbacks when we have goals that are achieved. You can try counting to 10 while you walk away from tempting goods, Dave's over there watching, and then you can also substitute a healthier reward like adding a dollar to a piggy bank vacation fund whenever you resist That's junk fun. food. No matter how old you are, you can really make a difference in your impulse control. It is so tough. We move so fast everywhere nowadays. And, but if you're mindful, you won't do that. That's the key. Practice mindfulness in every every part. And Thank I can only so count much. to five, by the way. So the, the <laughs> 10 doesn't work for me. <laughs> All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you so much. If you have a question or health concern for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at WXYZ.com, or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.